are wondering why he went on this suicide mission. He had texted me Sunday night saying, I need to talk to you, it's very important. And I was asleep already. That was the last time Jordan Conahan heard from his best friend. Around the same time, Shoup was sending similar messages to Bonnie Benedict. Monday at 1.35 a.m., he writes, Hey, I need to tell you something really important. Call me. Then, I'm going away for a really long time. Do you want to have my car? By 12.15 Monday afternoon, there's this. I'm either going to go away for a long time, die, or make a <laughs> run for it. And at 5.55 in the evening, Bonnie gets one last message. Sorry. Bonnie says she saw Shoot Monday morning, but never responded to the text that came later that day. He was just, like, really lonely, and I feel like maybe that was his cry out for help. Benedict and Conahan say Shoup had also told them he was in trouble with the law. Police say Shoup was a known drug user. Authorities say Shoup randomly fired at least six shots inside the mall with a gun he had stolen from his brother. He just sadly decided to make an act of... an act of, I guess, self self-indulgence by taking his own life publicly. Police say Shoup entered the mall dressed in black and wearing a motorcycle helmet. They believe he was motivated by suicide or dying at the hands of police. In the days before his death, Shoup's closest friends say he just didn't seem himself. He was again real paranoid about everything. He thought cops are following him. On Monday afternoon, he also sent Bonnie this message. Cops have been watching my house for the past four days now. I only have maybe one more day before they come for me. <laughs> His friends now wish they had somehow reached out to him. The signs were there, yeah. That it, it makes sense. It's just someone that you just never, ever in a million years would think to be the one to do this. You know, he's always so happy and positive. Alexandra Field, CNN, Teaneck, New Jersey.